I hope everyone's had a nice Christmas and um, there's they're um, had a nice time with your family. Just what to do is watch a short, a short video on um, just boosting our immune system because the mainstream media's not really given us any um, you know health boosting, immune boosting tips, have they? Uh, it's all been to stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. Um, but the you know, we're, we're, we're social creatures. We're, we're not designed to be isolated. We're not designed to be alone. Um, you know, this has detrimental effects on mental health. And government don't care. They don't care about people. They've got their own, they, you know, they get the bribes. They get their own um, funding from, you know, non-governmental organisations. It's all... To do with like sustainable development, agenda twenty one, depopulation, everyone getting jabbed. But if if people are healthy, why do they need a vaccine? You know, um, a lot of people don't choose not to watch the media, mainstream media, and that's our choice. We don't have to. We don't have to listen to the fear. It's not healthy. Um. So I'd just like to um. Just. Just give some uh, tips, like uh, you know, um, as to as to good foods to eat to to boost our immune system. So um, it's not to everyone's taste, but coconut oil is great. It's uh, antiviral, good for your skin. You can use it in in skincare. You can eat it. You can fry with it. You can cook with it. Um. It's fairly cheap. It's about one pound seventy nine from Lidl. Or if you, you can get it from the supermarket. So you're looking for you want to get to if you're gonna eat it, you wanna get organic virgin, cold pressed coconut oil. And um yeah, it's got very high smoke points, so it's very good for frying with um you don't have to use a lot because a little a little goes far. You can eat it. Um, it'll it's it, you can oil pull with it, which is like um like taking a, a teaspoon in your mouth and swirling the oil around your mouth. It it's um it'll pull um bacteria out of your mouth and then just spit out in the bin. Um, yeah, it's um it's great for your hair. Um. You know, if you want to smell like a tropical island, um, you know, just buy some coconut oil. Um, I've been getting into ghee, uh, which is clarified butter. Um, I'm just going to switch to somewhere just to this uh, organicfacts.net. It's got uh, seven impressive benefits of ghee. Um, you can actually get a few blocks of unsalted butter or salted, and you just melt it down and all... All ghee is is butter that that's had the milk solids um, taken out of it, and so when you fry with it, when you use it, it's got more of an oil um, consistency. That's got a high smoke point too. You know, very very good. Will not release free radical damage like vegetable oils do when they're heated to high temperatures. Um. So what is ghee? Um. Right. Um, ghee is a clarified type of butter meaning that it has been simmered into a concentrate and the residue has been removed what remains is basically a pure combination of fats without any milk residue which means that it does not need to be refrigerated ghee can last for months or even years without refrigeration which makes it very popular throughout history before modern times and refrigeration um, and so, nutritional value of ghee. Ghee may be composed primarily of fats, but it also contains significant levels of vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin D. Although many people think of fats as an unhealthy element to the diet, the body needs fat to function. Omega-3s, monounsaturated fats, are healthy forms of fat that can be found in ghee. In addition to other fatty acids like conjugated linoleic acid and butricate, Butric acid, both of which have positive health benefits in the body. 
So the health benefits of ghee. It boosts your energy. The wide range of fats that compose ghee include medium chain fatty acids, which are very useful for the body and can be processed by the liver and burnt as energy, not passing into the adipose tissue or contributing to weight gain. Yay! For athletes or other people with active high energy lifestyles, ghee can provide the necessary burst of energy that you might need to get through a challenging day. Number two, it reduces allergies since ghee is dairy free, having had all the dairy residues simmered off. Lactose intolerant individuals are those who cannot consume but are free to enjoy the flavorful, the, sorry, the flavorful treat of butter in the form of ghee without worrying about the gastrointestinal problems that normally follow. Number three, heart health. Although most people associate butter with fat and a decline in heart health, the rich variety of fats in ghee can provide a healthy boost to the heart. Omega-3 fatty acids can help decrease your levels of unhealthy cholesterol and provide an energetic balance to your fat intake. Reduces inflammation. Ghee possesses butric acid, which is one of the most beneficial short-chain fatty acids that the body needs. Butric acid has been shown in recent research to actually decrease inflammation in parts of the body, particularly in the gastrointestinal tract, and is now a recommended dietary addition for some people with ulcerative colitis. Furthermore, ghee enemas have long been used in traditional medicine for treating inflammation of all kinds. Number five, eye care. The significant levels of vitamin A in ghee make it ideal for protecting eye health. Carotenoids are antioxidants that specialise in, in eliminating, <coughs> eliminating and neutralising the free radicals that attack the macular cells, thereby preventing macular degeneration and the development of cataracts. Number six, it boosts, or number seven, sorry, it boosts the immune system. Butric acid, perhaps the most important element in ghee, has also been linked to the stimulation of T cell production, which are the heavy lifting, sorry, the heavy hitting cells of the immune system. In other words, ghee can supercharge your immune system in addition to all of its other health benefits. So the um, the article is from organicfacts.net and it's entitled Seven Impressive Benefits of Ghee. And there's uh, references to, to that. Um, so yeah, let's stay healthy with ghee. Uh, I've started making cakes with it and they've come out fantastic. Um, so I'm going to keep, keep um, making that. Weight loss cakes, yay. Um, also... Um, yeah, walking's great. Vitamin D is, is great for boosting the immune system. And um, obviously fruits and vegetables. I don't eat a lot of vegetables. Sorry, fruits, which I should eat of, eat more of. Um, but I do get, I do get um, vegetables, you know. Um, and um, yeah, it makes no sense that McDonald's has stayed open and... Uh, gyms have had to close because uh, of the ridiculous um, satanic uh, 666 initiation with social distancing, which is 2 metres, 6.5 metres. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do a short video just to um, just to encourage you to boost your immune system. Don't be afraid of fats. Uh, there's been a, a lot of attack on fats, saturated fats, um, but, they, you know, they, they're needed. We need them to to stay healthy and, um, you know, they're, they're trying to get us all to have, like, uh, grey margarine, flora, ooh, and, um, you know, frying vegetable oils and um, rapeseed oils. They're not, they're not natural fats, um, you know, and people don't know what, what it's doing to the body when they heat it to high temperatures. There's a fantastic book um, about coconut coconuts a coconut coconut oil by bruce fife which uh, i highly recommend it, it tells you about uh the diet and sorry the yeah the the food industry and how it used to rely on palm fats to fry with uh, and then there was an attack on palm fats like in the cinema they used to fry with palm fats and now they've changed it to um vegetable oils that's why the popcorn tastes shit um and McDonald's used to fry in um, beef dripping, which is why the chips were lovely and crispy. 
now it's vegetable fat and they're limp and cold and shit. Um, so I've given, you know, plenty of feedback. <laughs> McDonald's have had feedback from me. Um, but the fries are shit. They taste shit. Um, but, yeah, it's just, just an attack. I mean, you know, the, whoever owns the food kind of rules the world, don't they? But, you know, we can get educational. You know, the internet is not all that bad when we can do our own research and help our immune system because healthy people don't need to be vaccinated, do they? And, um, yeah, check out um, Dr. Mike Yeadon, um, who's who said that there's, you know, like, like the media say that one in three people are asymptomatic, that, that we've got the virus and that we're spreading it. Well, there's no... There's no um, scientific facts for that. So he's he's spoken out against that. So um, thanks for listening. Um, have a fantastic um, New Year's Eve and Happy New Year to you. God bless.